Hey guys, so I'm aware of how crazy I look, I know. It will be explained in a video. I'm showing you how I dye my hair. If you guys would like a tutorial or just a quick run through of how I dye my hair with the Manic Panic Atomic Turquoise, then the link will either be in the description of this video or it'll be coming up soon. So I know I look like an old grandma just getting out of the tub, ready to go to bed to save her curls, but this is actually just to keep the hair out of my face because I don't want green face, which you can already see. I'm not achieving very well. I'm going to be using my Revlon Color Stay Foundation in the color uh, 150 buff and I'm going to be applying that with the damp beauty blender all over my face I am going to be using a little bit of Mac pro Longwear concealer in NC 15 Next I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with the Anastasia dip brow pomade in the color chocolate and um, I will be doing this with my Zoeva winged liner brush I think I'm going to stray from the original, which was going to be some sort of warm, smoky eye, and I think I just don't want to do that. So I think I'm going to use my Maybelline Color Tattoo in the color ba -ma 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 Seashore Frost. This shit is beautiful. I'm going to pat that all over my eyelids using my finger, <laughs> the best tool, in my toolkit. And I'm going to sort of do a cut crease. I think I want to keep it kind of cool toned because I always do warm toned eyes. So I'll probably go in with either this color here or this color here. So I'm going to kind of mix that first color that I pointed out with a gray um, so that it just kind of makes it even more neutral. And I'm going to just map out where I want my crease to go. Next I'm going to use my Zoeva Luxe Petite Crease Brush and I'm going to blend that out with a blending color that is similar to the cooler tones that we've got going on. All we're going to do is just make sure that you're softening that line so it's not as harsh and that the top of it kind of blends up. Now taking a little bit of a softer black color, I'm going to trace over the crease just down at the cut just to make it a little bit cleaner of a cut. Now I want to take a little bit more of that Cool Crush by Maybelline Color Tattoo and I'm just going to pop that under the bottom lash line just in the center because I'm going to smoke out next to it. And I'm going to take that It Cosmetics brush again and just go in with a cooler toned brown mixed with a little bit of a warm toned brown because I think a warm on the bottom looks really good and I'm just going to smoke out the lower lash line. Now I'm going to do a wing liner on the top and I'm going to flick it out sort of far so that it goes just under the cut crease on the top and it sort of not doesn't meet with it but you'll see. And for this I am using my Blink Ultra Thin Liquid Eyeliner Pen. The Rimmel Scandal Eyes Cool Pencil in the color Silver and put that on the center of your waterline and then on the outsides we'll do the black. Next I'm going to put on a little bit of mascara. I'm going to be using the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express Mascara in black and I'm also going to be putting on some lashes. I'm going to be using House of Lashes Iconic Lashes. Damn, that was pretty good. Proud of myself. I'm going to be using the Balm's Mary Luminizer for today on this large fan brush. Ooh, I like that way that applies highlight. Because we are keeping it into the cool tones in this tutorial, I think I am going to go back to a tried and true favorite. This is the Clinique Cheek Pop Blush in 04 Plum Pop. Now I am going to contour a tad bit using the coolest tone shade in the Anastasia Contour Kit. This is Fawn. Um, you don't have to use this if you don't want. The, a good dupe for it is the NYX Taupe Blush, which is even a little bit more cool toned. Actually a lot. For this eye look, because it's sort of an icy blue tone, you could do a lot of different lip combos with this. So first I'm going to show you the lip combo that I've been wearing a lot lately, and this is completely the trend of the Kylie Jenner lip, which I think will go with this eye look. So I'm going to change it up and try a couple different lip combos. This first combo I'm going to be using the NYX Vanilla Sky Lip Pencil on the outside and the Jaclyn Hill Gerard Cosmetics 1995 on the inner portion. So this is one lip combo. Not a huge fan of this one with the eye look. I think the eye look is way too cool and the lips need to be a tad bit cooler. So I'm going to take this off and I'm going to try something a little bit different. So if you want to go super bold and super fun on this, you could definitely try a black lipstick. I'm going to try it on just so that you can see. But if you're going to like a holiday party or something, then the black might look really, really neat. Fuck yeah. Or if you wanted to lighten it up a tad.
You could make it a little bit more of an ombre lip. I used a little bit of the NYX Macaroon Lipstick in Black Sesame for that, just to kind of lighten up the center a little bit to make it a little bit more ombre effect. But if this is all too much for you, you could just wear a blue lipstick. So I'm gonna finish off with this lipstick right here. I know that I look a little crazy and I didn't try a nude lip for you. If you wanted to pair this with a nude lip or something a little bit more wearable, you could definitely put this with a red or a dark berry, but I'm kinda going for the black look here because I'm really like digging it. So I hope you guys like it. Um, I know my hair and my outfit don't really match the makeup look, but that's because I was, I'm also in the middle of filming another video. So if you guys would like to see that video, like I said in the beginning of this video, it could be up somewhere around here. And I thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all at Raw Beauty Christie. And I hope to see you guys at my next video. Bye.